All right, Shalom. First and foremost, you want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Harakah, Kadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of GMS, the true leaders of Israel today. Peace, love, and salutations and safety to the Bayafta Wada, the house of David. All right, uh, the, the, the tribes out there that are scattered abroad, you know, we say greetings and blessings. All right, this is a portion of the GMS Boston camp coming again with our uh, weekly lesson. Um, and Lord willing, it's edifying. All right, so we got a video queued up here, right? Um, you know, let's get right into it. The video will speak for itself. So this this will be a commentary video. We'll um, we'll pause it as you know scriptures come to mind and thoughts come to mind. If you brothers got anything that you guys want to bring out, you know, just just this brother will pause it and we'll bring it out. So let me see. It's uh, Julius uh, Melema gives his views on sanctions against Russia. It is not what America wants to hear. All right. And and, and to give a quick synopsis of, of this video, um, Habakkuk, the second chapter comes to mind, you know, um, the nation's being, all right, at, 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 you know, the nation's drinking of that cup, all right, which is, you know, democracy in a nutshell, uh, fornication, uh, women's liberation, you know, uh, it's, this is, this is the regurgitation of Esau's society, you know, Esau's rules and his, his philosophies, his way of thinking being shoved down the people's throats and the people regurgitating and throwing it up. Just like how when you consume too much alcohol, you know, you throw up. Why? Because that's your body uh, rejecting the alcohol, saying it, it, it's had too much. And this is what the world powers, the world leaders are doing, all right, to what you would call America or EU or NATO. All right, or, or 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 the Western powers, you know, why? Because Esau, um, Esau has a a, a a time stamp on his rulership, and we are slowly but surely embarking on that time shift. But before things could really play out in a physical, you know, they first got to be dealt with spiritually. The vibration has to be on the earth, and that vibration is being pushed. The Book of Habakkuk comes to mind. Um, Joel comes to mind. So without no without no further ado, let's just get into it real quick. See what this guy is saying. Again, this is a political leader, all right. And he's not the president, but he's a political leader of the EFF, a political party, all right, in South Africa. And he's speaking, um, not like a regular politician, all right, if you will. You know, it, it sounds like he's been watching videos, you know, of the elder elders and the apostles. Uh, when you when you really uh, get into it. All right. So, hey, but anybody got anything or, or we can fire I, it off? I don't know if you want me to start off with that. You, you mentioned Habakkuk twice. I mean, I don't know if you want to just start off with that verse before the uh, yeah. video. Yep. We can get it. I'll get right to the point, bro. Uh, Habakkuk 2, verse 16. Thou art filled with shame for glory. Drink thou also and let thy foreskin be uncovered. The cup of the Lord's right hand shall be turned unto thee, and shameful spewing shall be on thy glory. Yeah, come on. Mm -hmm. um, go ahead, break it down, bro. Yeah, man. See, that now, we like the brother mentioned, that drink of that wine, the wickedness, uh, the philosophy that have been pushed throughout the whole earth, it would seem like America uh, was doing a good thing. But now, since all their history, their, their skirt being revealed and lifted for their wickedness, now it's a shameful spewing amongst them. Uh, these other nations are now want to uh, retaliate. They get in that spirit that they can't trust these devils. Uh, uh, these devils around them are threats to them and them as a nation and a society. So this is the spirit of ultimately the Lord putting that, that warlike spirit into these other nations to get prepared for war and not to trust America uh, EU, NATO, and that's the sentiment that uh, Julius uh, Malma is also getting in. You know, he he picked his side or who he's supporting, and this is just going to be the the spirit that's going to happen throughout the East and uh, against the West. You know, well said, absolutely. All right, um, this is from Africa Africa Web TV. So, all right, just to give the source. Russia imposed sanctions on apartheid South Africa. Here you are violating the rights of black people. The same Russia. 
But when the people were shot here in Shabfi, America never imposed sanctions on apartheid. America worked with apartheid. America supported apartheid. America never punished apartheid for violating the rights of black people. Hey, so hey you can press pause on that real quick. Uh, you know, so so basically what he's stating is the truth. You know, and Esau over here, and, and, and we're in Babylon in the belly of the beast in America. And um, one of their favorite escape cues is, you know, that happened a long time ago. They love the they love the use that that happened a long time ago. Well, when you're dealing with apartheid, apartheid, you know, segregation, legalized segregation, and um, you know, separation, you know, it didn't end until 1994. All right, so this is this is a card that Esau can't play that uh, 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 happened a long time ago card when you're dealing, all right, with this situation here in South Africa. And he said, America never sanctioned, all right, South Africa uh, based off apartheid. They never condemned South Africa based off of apartheid, but Russia did, all right, but Russia did, all right? And so now when you go into what the scriptures are saying, let's get that real quick. Um, let's get the book of, uh, there's, there's a couple of them that comes to mind. Ezekiel, the 38 chapter comes to mind. Um, yeah, so Ezekiel 38. Con, you want me to start at the top? Start at the top. Con, this is Ezekiel 38 and verse 1. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog. The chief now we know that that's Russia, right? Gog and Magog. Go ahead. The chief prince of Meshach and Tubal and prophesy against him, and say, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashan Shah, Behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth, and all thy armies, uh, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. It says, Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with them. All of them with shields and helmets. Gomer and all his bands, the house of Togoma of the north quarter, quarters, and all his bands, and many people with, with thee. It says, Be thou prepared and prepare for thyself, thou and all thy companies that are assembled, assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. Yeah, there's the point. The point is, is for uh, that the command was given from the Heavenly Father to Russia, all right to prepare war, but to be a guard unto these smaller, weaker nations so that these nations may say, you know, like, so the prophecy could be fulfilled. Uh, let the weak see I'm strong. And this is the sentiment that's being played out on the earth, proving that the, the, the book, all right, which is the Bible, is alive. It's a live book, all right? The things that were written in, they're now starting to manifest itself. It's like the brother read in the book of Habakkuk, but when you read up, it'll tell you that at the end, the prophecies don't speak and not lie. As a matter of fact, let's just grab that real quick. Con, con. And you can start at the top too, bro. Uh, Habakkuk? Yep. Con. All right. Habakkuk uh, chapter 2 and verse 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower, and I will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it. Now the vision that's me being made plain on tables, the tabernacles, the scrolls, the, 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 the letters, the Bible, all right? And this is the, this is the, the, the prophecy, all right, as to what the, the prophet Habakkuk saw, all right, was written in these books. But listen to what he's going to say. Go ahead, bro. Con, verse 3, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. So even no, though it was written over 2,000, 2,500 years ago, it said this, the vision was uh, written. Uh, the, read it again for me, brother. Yeah, Tom, verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But right, the, the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. And we're living in a time in which it's speaking. Why? Because the things that was written about, they're now starting to happen. Mm -hmm. And this is what you're seeing being played out right before your face. All right. So this video right here, this lesson, is um first-hand proof all right that the bible is is faithful and true right. Come on. Come on. Come on. want me to continue 
Um, yeah. I think that's it, right? I got one very quick, bro. Since you said that, uh, uh, Isaiah 46, verse 10, back here for a quick Isaiah 46, verse 10, declaring the end for the beginning and for ancient times, the thing that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. Yes, so the Heavenly Father declaring the the end from the beginning, and that's that's how you prophesy. That's what separates the men of the Lord from everybody else, which is the ability to be able to uh, uh, not only to know the future, but to warn the people of the future and to foresee the things that are to come. Um, mainly, properly to prepare yourself, all right, uh, mentally and spiritually, all right, and, and 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 ultimately to receive salvation because this is what this thing is about. We're warning you about war and destruction. Matter of fact, get um. Real quick, get, get Matthew chapter 24, verse 6 to 8. We're warning you about war, pestilence, and destruction. But the Bible off, are, also offers you a way out of it through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. So we're not going to tell you about the destruction. We're going to tell you how to how to get from it. But th these are just the rumors, all right, the, uh, uh, of war. Get Ma Matthew 24, verse 6. Oh, this, this is Matthew 24, verse 6 uh, through 8. It says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Yeah, so we're hearing of these wars, all right, and rumors of wars, but through the Spirit, get uh, Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 1 real quick. Second Ezra, because through the midst of all this turmoil, uh, um, time is something that we have to measure, because that was an ordinance that was given. That was an order. We've been ordained to measure the time diligently. All right, we don't, you don't measure time. With a ruler, you you measure it by the prophecies of the things that were stated that would happen in in sequence in order. So in order for this to happen, this has to happen. And in this case, in order for the end to come about, which is the end of this world coming about through that thermonuclear fire, certain events had to take place, like the RFID microchip has to be implanted, which is the MOTB. So we measure it. Get uh get it for me. Uh, nine and one. Second Ezra. Yep. Second Ezra is nine verse one. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest parts of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Yeah, so we use that same the tabernacles, the same book, all right, the same uh, uh, prophecies, all right, those dreams, those visions to do what? To measure the time because ultimately we're waiting for it. It goes into it in the book of Acts. Um, where, 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 when the Lord made a second return, you know, uh, to, the, to the disciples, the, well, they wasn't disciples at that time, they were apostles. Give me that real quick. I got you, bro. Yep. Acts 1, verse uh, uh verse 7, uh, in verse 5, when they therefore will come together, they ask of them, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore the kingdom or give the kingdom to Israel? For it's unto them. It is not for you to know the time or the season which the father had put in his own power. Yeah, so so the, 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 one of the first questions they asked the, the Lord when he came back after his resurrection is like, are you now going to restore the kingdom? In other words, are you now going to bring back that power, that authority, that authorization, that that the might, all right, into Yahshua Allah so that we could receive that promise that was given us to us from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to rule the earth. And he said, it's not given to you to know the Pacific times, but what was given to us was the ability to measure it, mm -hmm. you know, diligently in itself. Finish off that on um, second Exodus 9, unless you got something else, Tazawa. Oh, no, I just wanted to mention, because the brother uh, Karab read uh, Matthew 24 from verse 6, but that was the same sentiment that the the, the, the disciples came up to Yahweh Shai and the Mount of Olives saying, is this now the sign of thy coming and the end of the world, you know? So they were acquiring about the destruction of mainly of Esau, Edom's rulership, man. Even at that time, you know what I mean? God. I got a quick preset. Matthew, right. uh, Matthew 24, uh, verses 34 through 36. And it says, Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. But of that, mm -hmm. yep, you got it, brother. And it says, But of that day and hour, nor no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. You see, the Pacifics. Of the of the of that time, we're not gonna know. Only thing we've been given was the ability to, you know, measure it during the prophecy. So we we okay, this is happening. This is happening. Matter of fact, continue reading, Tazawa. 
uh, in uh, Second Ezra's nine, right? Yes. Come on. Second Ezra's nine, and I left off at verse three. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Yeah, so when he said, when you see earthquakes and uproars of the people, you see earthquakes in diverse places. You had an earthquake in New Hampshire, earthquakes in California, earthquakes in Japan, earthquakes in Taiwan, all earthquakes all around the world, but then the uproars of the people. Every, every and, and, and everywhere you go throughout the four winds of the earth, whether it be a first world nation, second world nation, or third world nation, you're seeing uproars of the people. In other words, people are rising up against those governments. Again, going back to them regurgitating the system that Esau has set up, because at the end of the day, it's a wicked system. What does the scripture say? When the righteous are in authority, the world rejoices, but when the wicked are in authority, the world mourns. Who's in authority? Esau. And he's trying to push, he's trying to shove that 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 democracy, that cup, that philosophy down the throats of the people. But it just so happened to be we're living in a time in which they're rejecting it. But um Read, read that again for me, brother, that, that the third verse, I believe it was. Kind of, uh, Second Ezra 9, verse 3. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, the, and the end is manifest. The end is manifest, just like in Habakkuk, at the end it shall speak and not lie. When things manifest, they, they come right before your face, so you can't really deny it. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, second Ezra chapter six, verse six. Hey, real quick. I got I got the definition to back you up on manifest. Yep. It says uh clear or obvious to the eye or mind. Right. Mm -hmm. So you had the guy come up to us this week at camp. Um, I call for second Ezra chapter six, verse six too. By the I way, um, um, we had the guy that come up in camp, and you know, he said, you know, kind of, you know, how can you prove to me that? you know, um, these things are going to be. Well, just open your eyes, mm -hmm. right? Because read that definition of manifest for me one more time, Baba Kishore. So this the definition for manifest. It says clear or obvious to the eye or mind. Expressly, we're supposed to say the spirit speak of expressly. At this time, the prophecies are speaking expressly because it's clear, it's obvious. Wars all um, in the newspapers. The talks of thermonuclear war are on the newspapers. They're all... All right, uh, on on your TV screens, they're all in, in, on your YouTube videos. They're all they're everywhere. Go ahead, Tazawa. Hey, I got yeah. I got real quick. I got a few synonyms uh, to bring out real quick. It says um, clear. It says plain, evident. Mm -hmm. Also goes it says definite. Also um, unmistakable, unquestionable, undeniable. You know, uh, visible. Yeah. Hey, now, now, what what does it say? And when it says, "Make the tables plain upon tables," mm -hmm. and it shall speak, because it was letting you know that there was going to be a time in which, see, when you go into faith, right? What's that? Hebrews eleven. Give me Hebrews eleven and one real quick. Bubble Kasha. When you go into faith, what is faith? And and, and, and so essentially, um, the things that the time that we living in, you really don't need faith. You just got to open your eyes because what's faith? Hebrews 11, verse 1, right? You got it? Yep. Yeah, uh, Hebrews 11 and 1. Uh, now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Yeah, see, that's the evidence of things not seen. I keep on harping on it because it, it goes to show you who the prophets were. How, how, how did Nebuchadnezzar know what type of man he was dealing with when he was dealing with Daniel? Because Daniel was able to not only to interpret his dream, but to tell Nebuchadnezzar what his dream was, thus proving that this man was a, 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 a man that the most high God, you know, the highest of the highest was dealing with. So when you're dealing with the elder apostles, how do you know that they're men of the Lord? Because they were able to stick to the word at a time in which when these prophecies, these prophecies was unfathomable. They were unseen, you know, That's to right. be in the early 90s to talk about an economical collapse at the height of America's uh, 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 power. You know, in the 90s, you know, you hear stories of the, the dot-com boom and Hillary Clinton being in office and the economical time and gas prices being low and even poor Jakes was doing I hella food stamps and things of that nature. But they were able to say, look, uh, 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 economic, uh, um, basically a collapse is coming, you know, at the and, and you got to mind you at the, the, the Soviet Union fell around that time, around the early 1900s to be able to say that the Soviet Union was going to come back into power. 
and be a great power and to destroy America, what had to be imputed in you was great faith and in, in, in the elders to say that, but even to believe that it had to be imputed to you in faith. But now in today's day, you don't need the uh, faith because of what we're talking about. These things are evident. You know, the people have read the sentiments that they, it's, it's they're plain, they're obvious. You can see that something ain't right with this world that we live in. You know, something ain't right with the politics, the leadership, the governments, the police officers, your judges, your politicians. They're all corrupted. Everything is corrupted. Your TV shows, you know, the cartoons, the air you be, the food you, you eat ain't right. Uh, through stress, through um, obesity, through misery, you know, through pain, through just suffering, through mental anguish, something ain't right with this world. And a shift is happening because a shift is, is, is necessary, is needed. In order for survival. Why? Because what did the Lord say? If he didn't come back, no That's flesh no would be saved. Saved. So let's go um, read that last part one more time, uh, Taza, Taza War. Lord's uh, word. Hebrews. Hebrews 11 and 1. Now, oh, no, please. 11 and 1. We got that one. Back oh, in 2nd. Second second yeah, chapter 6, verse 9. I got you, bro. No, not 6. Read 9 real oh, quick. Nine, 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 nine. Nine. Yeah, I got you. 2nd uh, Ezra is uh, 9. And um, I'll say uh, verse four, yep. uh, then, sh then shall thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before, before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest, even so the times also of the highest having plain beginnings and wonders, uh, wonder and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. Yeah, talking about the ending, talking about signs. Signs, what's a sign? A sign is a symbol um, that basically gives you direction, right? So a stop sign. You see that big red octagon, you, you know what? It means to stop. When you see that green light, that's a sign to go, you know? So signs have been given for us to determine the end of this world because this is what this is all about. Regardless of what anybody says, it's all about the ending of Esau's world in the beginning of Jacob's world, because that's the separation of uh, the, the wicked society and the righteous society. That's the that's war right. between good versus evil, you know, Satan versus Yahweh, you know, the demons versus the angels, you know, and this is this is what this is. This is what's being played out underneath the earth, like in uh, what's that, the book of Sirach, no, it's the book of Ecclesiastes, where it says good a, time and purpose. A, a time and purpose, that too. Give me that real quick. Uh, uh, give me that bond of war, but give me what you got first in Second Ezra's the sixth chapter before that slips away. I got you. Uh, six and six. Ezra chapter six verse seven. Then six. Enter, you said six, right? Six and six. Six, six. six. six and six. 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 Uh, second Ezra six and six. Then did I consider these things, and they all well, and they all were made through me alone and through none other by me also. They shall be ended and by none other. Then said, I, then said I and said, What shall be the parting of Sunday of the times, or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's head held first the hill of Esau, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the being of it that followeth. And we, we bring these scriptures out a lot because it's only because this is a time that we live in. It. So, like, me from I could speak for myself when I first came into the truth. We the Deuteronomy the 28th chapter and the 68th verse was a scripture that we brought out a lot because we just so happened to be in that time in which we were trying to convince people, hey, look, man, or, or get people to consider, you know, that was a that was a scripture to prove that, you know, we're the Israelites going to the curses, you know, um, the land of our captivity. But now as we get here closer and closer to the end of this thing. These scriptures about the end of the world and in, 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 in the beginning of this new world, they come out a lot. They have to come out a lot because it's that vibration. Now, that scripture is talking about what? The end of the world, which that word world goes into an age with the time period. It's an eon. And this is what we're embarking on. And the proof of this is this video all right, that we're watching. All right. The, 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 the nations are angry. All right. You could sense a shift that's happening throughout this, this planet, man. You could sense a, a, a awareness. You know, you can sense a, a, state, a state of consciousness, if you will, all right, to reality. Because a, for a long time, Esau Edom has had us in, you know, a delusional state through his witchcraft and through his media, all right, through his, his, his falsehoods, through his lies, all right. But now the truth is starting to come up. 
So we could get back into it. Wow. If your brother's got anything, you know what I mean? If anything comes to mind, anything get on your spirit, you know, just this is just a commentary, so. Wow. Of NATO and America against Russia, which was with us during the difficult times. Even in Palestine today, their rights are violated by Israel. Palestinians are being killed on daily basis. We never had a call that we must sanction Israel. But today, because a white man is being killed in UK, all of us who are being called, hey, sanction Russia, denounce Russia. We will never denounce Russia because Russia was with us during difficult times. Why wanna AK-47 that we used to liberate ourselves? It was from Russia. It was given to us by the Russians to come here and kill the poor who are killing our people with an automatic rifle called AK-47. Hey, real quick, I got a quick precept. You know, he mentioned about uh, what's happening on, uh, happening to the Palestinian. All right, and how America is not speaking against that or even trying to uh, go against uh, Israel. But now in uh, Ukraine, what's happening to them, they really need to jump to their defense, right? This is uh, Job 15. I'm going to start at verse 34. It says, For the congregation of hypocrites shall be desolate, and the fire shall consume the tabernacles of bribery. They conceive mischief and bring forth vanity, and their belly prepared to see. All right, and this is why it's going to lead to uh, uh, America is going to be destroyed. All right. Why? Because of the hypocrisy. All right. And when it says they it, they conceive mischief, it's all for their own uh, uh, well-being. It's only for America's gain, you know. And this is once again why the nations are angry. This is why the nations are, are starting to, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, basically take themselves away from America and now basically uh, uh, go against America. All right. Yeah. I got one real quick, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's uh, on Jeremiah fifty-one verse. Uh... Uh, verse 7, Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunk of a wine, therefore the nations are mad. Hey, showing you that the nations have received the bad end of the deal. All right. And now these you have a, not uh multiple, you know, uh multiple nations starting to starting to um as he's gonna speak on it, he's gonna speak about what happened into uh what's his name? Um uh Muhammad Gaddafi. He's gonna he's gonna go into it. All right, and they witness that, and then they're gonna identify and say, "Hey, listen, this can happen to us." So huh. you know, but yeah, man, we can we can definitely get into that as well. Anybody got anything else? It just shows that they, they their antennas are now up. They can't yeah. trust Esau, man, for 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 his uh his uh his history, man. The way that he played his cards, man. He's he 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 he's wicked, man. He he can't be trusted. And now now these guys are speaking up ultimately because you know. Uh, we haven't got into it in Joel, but the weak are stronger. The, the weak say stay strong because ultimately, you know, the, you have a powerhouse in the east, which is Russia, as we read in uh, Ezekiel 38, man, being a guard unto these nations. And he said it, you know, they gave them uh, AK-47s. They looked yeah. after them and protected them while they were at, at their low. So they, they chose their side, man, you know. Yeah, hey, that's, that's, how, that's how people uh, build a relationship. Like if you feed a hungry dog, he'll be your best friend. That's right. right. You know? So, Real quick, can I read this scripture? Come on, come on, you got it. Uh, this is Isaiah chapter 32, verse 5. It says, The vile person shall no more be called liberal, nor the cruel said to be bountiful. Mm. It yeah. says, For the vile person will speak villainly, and his heart he will work iniquity, and practice hypocrisy, and will utter error against the Lord, Yahweh, to make empty the souls of the hungry, and he will cast the drink of the thirsty to fail. Yeah, Khan. Hey, that vile person is Esau Edom, mainly um, uh, Babylon, man. You know, their uh, vows are extremely unpleasant, you know, foul, nasty. You know, they're bad. They do wicked, disagreeable, and offensive atrocities, man. That, that, those are all the synonyms of that word vile. But this is the characteristics of Esau, man. And these other nations can see him uh, as, uh, what is that, uh, Jeremiah 49 and 11? His skirt is being revealed, man. He can't hide himself. He yeah, was known yeah. as the the liberal guy. He was known as the, the good guy to come save the day. But now he's known as 
the son of perdition, mainly through the, the prophets, but these other nations see him as the great Satan, man. No, if I mean, yeah, these devils, they care about no nobody else's world, world being but their own, man. You know, that's exactly why they quick to put a section on your, uh, on, on, on Russia just because they go in uh, into Ukraine. But when they all do the same thing to uh, 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 to Iraq, to Afghanistan, to uh, to Libya, Esau was nowhere to be found, man. He act like it was it was it wasn't important. But as right. soon as it's happening to his own people, that's exactly why he wanna come in and put sanction on, on other countries, you know. No, no, God, so when you go into the word cloud, oh yeah, that's the spirit, brother. Right, you got it. What comes to mind is well, get get Hebrews real quick. And I, you, I read, you see all, all the synonyms for vile, yep. bro? It's extremely it's unpleasant, unpleasant bro. Foul, nasty, unpleasant, bad, disagreeable, horrible, yeah. dreadful, yeah. unsavory, obnoxious, yeah. offensive, yeah. atrocious, abominable. Yeah. All right? It says morally bad, wicked, all right? Yeah. Evil, heinous, diabolical, black, dark. Rotten, cruel, generous, <laughs> murderous, mm. vicious. All right. So, yeah. so that that vicious person will no longer be, will no longer get that title of being a conqueror, of being a leader, of being a savior, of being a philosopher, a great noble. thinker, Greek or noble, a liberal. Mm. Right. You're gonna be Esau is gonna be exposed for the devil that he is, man. That's right. Yeah. They got called Caesar. You got it, brother. Habakkuk 2 uh, and 4, going on in 5, it says, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. It can't get right. That's right. It says, Yet yeah, also because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man, neither keeper at home, who enlarges his desires as hell, and is as death and cannot be satisfied. Uh, well, that's the, CF, the, the leader of the EFF is going to go into how they have... um. A military base, I forget, was it Botswana? Yep, yeah, Botswana. Yep. Yep. In Botswana, and how how they 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 need that military base gone because he said uh, uh, by them allow uh, by them allowing America to have that military base, they're literally, you know, two hours or two two minute two hours away from destroying their country, mm. and, and and that's that's the that's the the, the gamble that you take. When you allow America to have a military base, in all right, backyard. in your country, in your backyard, all right, you, you, you're literally allowing danger, all right, uh, minutes away, fighter jets, minutes away, bombers, minutes away, and can't no good come out of anything um, having America in your backyard. Read that again, brother. Come on. Sir. Have a two and verse five. Yeah, also because he transgresses by wine, he is a proud man. Neither keeper at home, who enlarges his desires as hell, and is as death and cannot be satisfied. But yeah, so, yep, he said he said he enlarges his desire as hell. He can't keep at home, and he transgresses by wine. Transgresses mm -hmm. going into a sin, uh, but the, going into the philosophies, you dealing with even dealing with the Solomon Islands, the islands off the coast of Australia. All right, China has a, a, a basically a, they have a, they 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 drew up a security pact with China. And here you have America, the West, starting with Australia and America, basically throwing a goddamn temple transfer. And you have them basically making statements because the Solomon Islands are within, you know, a certain amount of miles away from Hawaii, which Hawaii is the America America's territory, all right, mm -hmm. uh, naval base. And then close to uh, Australia, they're stating that that they, they they're drawing a red line because they don't want, you know, uh, uh, enemy if you will, um, military bases so close within their borders. But essentially, that's the same thing that Russia is saying concerning the Ukraine and NATO, that they don't want NATO literally on their borders. But it, what, what did we just read? That the man is a hypocrite. Because when it comes to him, when it comes to bombing of Libya, when it comes to the bombing of Syria, when it comes to the bombing of Yemen, they don't take the same stance all right, when it comes to darker nations of people, whether it be Ishmaelites or Hamites or Israelites, they don't take the same things when those when their people are dying. When it's blonde hair and blue eyed people dying, they take a total different stance. They want everybody to condemn that in the UN. They want everybody to speak up against it. They want people to put sanctions 
all right, on Russia, even if those sanctions cut their own throats. Because we were dealing with the EU putting sanctions on Russia is literally cutting their own throat because Russia supplies a, a huge amount of not just oil, but gas, natural gas, through pipelines that's needed to heat their homes, that's needed to cook their food. So, and, and essentially, these European uh, power are just puppets for American governments, which is ultimately why, you know, they're going to shoot no nukes on this place. And that's going into a whole different topic, but it's all the same thing, man. You know, mm -hmm. it's all, it, 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 this, this, the story all lines up, man. Go ahead, bro. I'm finishing up. It says, but gathered unto him all nation and heapeth unto him all people. And real quick. When you when you read it in the NIV version, that same part that I just read, it says he gathered to, he gathered to himself all the nations and take captive all the people. Mm. You know, and yeah. that's exactly what Esau is doing. You know, yeah. and that's what he has done. You got to make, making everybody his slaves. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't abide by his uh, by his legislation, his laws, he puts sanction on you. You know, if you don't do what he wants you to do, he put embargo, sanction, on making sure that you ha you have no means to. Look after your own people to feed your own people, you know. Yeah, that's why the nations are mad, and this is why you see the sentiment of you know the, them being the taunting proverb. This is you know that shameful spewing. People are speaking out against them now, they're raising up. You know, uh, decades ago, they would have been quiet, you know, they would have been afraid of the big bad bully, you know, the hammer of the whole earth. But now they could poke their chest out, man, because enough is enough. Ultimately, it's the Lord controlling putting the spirit in these kings' hearts, you know, their mind, you know, that time of war, that time of uh, hate, man. It's not a time of love and peace, you know? Hey, uh, even even uh, Julius Malima, which we're going to play, uh, he mentioned about the uh, being independent uh, from, from America, from the U.S. Mm -hmm. You know, that's 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 a, that's a, that's a, that's a, uh, being liberated from the captive. I mean, uh, uh, the, yeah. the yeah. you know, those that hold them in captivity. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Hey, real quick, can I do we read Jeremiah 51 and 7? Come on, we did. You, did. you can bring it back. Uh -huh. up with you. It's fair, All right, I'll bring it back out again. But, mm -hmm. uh, right, Jeremiah 51 and 7 Babylon have been the golden cup in the Lord's hand who made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken her wine, therefore, the nations are mad. Yeah, Babylon is America, man. America has pushed forth his wine, which is the philosophy. You know, if you like the brother Bon War mentioned, man, if you don't get down or lay down, I mean, if you don't get down with them, they're gonna get sent, you're gonna get bombed, either sanctioned, you're gonna be uh ridiculed through the uh, uh the media, yeah. crap. you know. This is how Esau gets down, man. You know, and it's and ultimately it's it's for a purpose for, for ultimately for the Lord to uh have that uh uh, vengeance and indignation towards Babylon, man. You know, if Babylon. I, if, I may, bro, come on, if I may, after they're done making fun of you, the media, that's when they send the military to take you out or to yes, to sir. to destroy a country to take your natural resources, man. You know. All right. Go back to. I'm gonna go and play the uh, video some more. Russians did not only support us through lip service; they equipped us with weapons. Russia gave us money to fight apartheid. Russia took our leaders, Ayabaisha Skolo, many of the people who are leading South Africa today, like Lindy Wesulu, like Tony Engeni, they went to school in Russia. Why did Russia take them to school? It was preparing them. Russia was believing that one day South Africa will have a black government and a black president. Therefore, we need to prepare black people today for the future. Russia never isolated us. Today, we are here to say to NATO, we are here to say to America, we are not with you. We are with Russia, and today we want to say to Russia, thank you for being there when it was not fashionable to be there, and do not doubt our support, Russia. Ugo, Peswa, teach them a lesson. We need a new world order. We are tired of being dictated to by America. America wants to turn the whole world into an American village 
We are not an American village. If I, if I may mention real quick, I think I believe I heard him. He said we need a, a, a NWO. And he was referring to the NWO uh, based under these elites, you know. Uh, but but uh, there's going to be a new uh, NWO based on the righteousness through Yahweh Shah, man, through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So through the spirit, he's calling for something righteous, man. You know, he wants a change. He wants the wicked to be removed, ultimately. And we're giving through this lesson an example of well, the only way that uh, the, this NWO really is going to take place is through the elect also being sealed. And then our Lord and Savior coming to remove the crowns of these kings and destroying these uh, uh, militaries and putting these other nations into captivity, man. I got one real, quick. How, real quick, how the Heavenly Father set it up was that, you know, Russia was going to basically lead that charge to bring about the end of this old world order. Because essentially, you know, Russia doesn't want to join the new world. It doesn't want to take place in Esau's uh, uh, so-called new world order. And Russia's being, you know, basically a thorn in the side to what these elites want, you know. And then and then, as we it read, you know, be a guard. Let the weak see them strong. Let them be. I know, look out for them, and, and this is what's happening. Uh, so, Revelation 11, verse 18, And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, in the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou should give reward unto thy servant, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and should show them which he showed the earth. You know, that's exactly what it is. The nations are angry. Because the nations are realizing now they're being bamboozled by Esau, you know, are, are mad, right? Because uh, this devil's uh, his philosophy was a way to 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 destroy the nations and to steal their natural resources. So now these nations they are come to the, the realization that hey, we cannot deal with Esau no more. Man. We have to come with our own our, our own uh, way of doing things to look after our own people, and that's exactly what you see. What's happening in uh, in uh, South Africa, like he's mentioning it right now. That's happening all over the world, man. That's happening in Haiti. That's happening uh, uh, in Asia. Nations are now setting up against Esau hegemony. Esau is losing his, uh, his power grip over the earth. And that's exactly why these devils, uh, they're going to have no other options but to bring forth the sword, man. The devil going to come down having great wrath because you know if, that he had but a short time, man, you know? Come. I got two, Lisa, Habakkuk 2 and verse 8 it says, Because thou hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee. Because of men's blood and for the violence of the land, of the, of the city and of all that dwell therein. All right. And once again, this is all going to come back on America's head. It's all going to come back upon Esau Edom's head. Yeah, karma. Mm -hmm. Karma. Scripture yeah. says um, that which uh, uh, he uh, what he said that he saw it, that he shall also reap. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Galatians six and verse seven. Well, all right. So, Amen. In due time, Esau Edom is going to get just exactly what he's been putting out. That's right. That's right. That's I got one great screen, bro. Uh, Colossian, uh, Colossian, Colossian 3 verse 25. Let's get that very quick. Um, Colossian 3, uh, Colossian 3 verse 25. Oh, no, 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 no. I got it real quick. I'll, you can break it down. I'll read it for yep, you, yep. bro. Mm -hmm. uh, Colossians, I got, yeah, I got it. Colossians 3 verse, uh, I'll start at verse, uh, you said 25, right? Yep, yep, come. Yep, but he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he have done, and there is no respect of, respect of persons. Yeah, because uh, just like uh, Korab just said in uh, in I don't know what's uh, Galatians six or seven, mm -hmm. be not deceived, Yahweh by Shemesh is not mocked for whatsoever means so if that shall you also reap. So whatever energy that you set out, that's exactly what you're gonna get back in return. He saw ever since he came into power, he has been he was given a short uh, a short time little seasons to deceive the nations, right? So by him going after the nation, the nation, oppressing the nations, guess what? The nations now, they are, they are uh, riding up against them. They want to take revenge. And that's exactly what it is. And, 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 and guess, guess what? He's not going to reap what he saw in the kingdom. When when we when your house comes and establish the kingdom and, uh, and give us rule, uh, power over the earth, guess what? These nations, they're going to have a field day uh, uh, on Esau, man. And they, and they can't wait, man. And the Lord's gonna allow them to take a, to to take that because Esau has to be uh, uh reap what he saw, man. You know, right now we in Esau's time. You know, he has he was giving a a a power over the earth to go into the four corners of the earth to cause chaos, destruction, 
to oppress the nations. That's his time right now. But guess what? His time is running out, man. The scripture says uh, that the Lord Yahweh uh, uh, uh set up his bound that he cannot pass. So yeah, yeah. Esau is almost out of here, man. You know? Right. America and Russia is going to lead that way to demonstrate to the whole world that we don't care about America. He said, he said Russia is going to lead that way to demonstrate to the world that we don't need America. So going yeah. back to what we have read in Ezekiel the 38th chapter, Russia being basically the, 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 the leading of the charge. All right. Once, once it's just like when one person steps up to the bully, then you'll see everybody else following behind. That's exactly what's happening. Okay. Hey, real, real quick before you say that, um, Joe 3 verse 10. Yeah. Um, nine. yeah. 3 verse 9, yeah. And uh, you brothers got that? Yeah, I got it right here. No, no, I would let the weak say I'm strong. Yep, yep, yep. 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 You want okay. that? Yeah, yep. bring that out real quick. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. Joel, Joel 3 verse 9, proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say I am strong. Yeah. Assemble yourselves. Mm -hmm. Come, all ye heathen. And no, gather that's yourselves. It. Hey, that's it right there, bro. Let the oh, weak okay. say I'm strong. Yeah, yeah, no, it's fine. But let the weak say I'm strong. How, how is a nation like South Africa, how do, how do they feel emboldened to make a statement like that, to go up against the powers that be, right. you know, because they have the backings of Russia. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the Russia's that leading thrust, you know, the, the one that's going to take the, the, that first hit with that bully, but give them confidence to, you know, to go about and, and seek a change, man, to ultimately bring about war. Mm -hmm. The death of the West. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. Um, Got to get something yeah. real quick. Uh, yeah, my brother's got something. Good, bro. Uh, Jeremiah. Uh, Jeremiah 50, verse 22. A sound of battle is in the land and of great destruction. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How has Babylon become a desolation among the nations? I have laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken, O Babylon, and thou was not aware. Thou art found and also caught, because thou hast striven against the Lord. The Lord have opened his armory and have brought forth the weapons of his indignation for this is the work of the Lord Yahweh, the power of hosts in the land of the Chaldeans. You know? And this is what's happening. It's a sound of battle in the land and great destruction. This is what's ultimately going to be coming to Babylon. Uh, this is the, let's say the, uh, we know the end is the climax of the movie. This is like the, 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 the beginning, let's say, you know, beginning of wars. Um, I, I was thinking of a word, but I'm getting tongue tied. No, the, but, um, the climax of the movie, the, climax, the, the, the water, bro. The transition the, period, the water, bro, leads to the great ending. You know. Yep. Yep. And the and the lead ending and the outcome is gonna lead these other nations actually shooting at the hammer of the whole earth, Babylon the Great. And like we said, you know, he, uh, Babylon Esau has to reap what he sow. You know, so he, he committed treachery. He's He's sanctioned, yep. he bombed, he destroyed nations. Hey, so now it's time for these other nations that were victims and were affected by Babylon's uh, treachery now to come together and do the same thing, ultimately from the hands of the Lord, to do the same thing upon uh, Babylon the Great. Huh? Yeah, if I may add, if you're already up, the only way to go is down. That's right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Esau's, Esau's already up, oppressing the whole earth, you know what I'm saying? Putting people into captivity by putting section on them, so the only way to uh, the only way to go is down, man. And that's hey, exactly what. Like, as, as far as Jake, you know, we can't fall from the floor, so that's right. We already at the floor. Only thing we could do from this point is lift ourselves up, dust ourselves off. Spirit and power, yeah, by Shema Shai. Start with this knowledge first. Oh, you yeah. know, so let's finish off on this. Yeah, the scriptures say the first shall be last, and the last shall be first. Right? Yeah. yeah. We are here at Omotan to say to America, we are showing you a metal finger today. Mm -hmm. We are on your own and we are not scared of you. We will liberate the whole world through the leadership of Russia. So comrades, never be confused. 
there are Nazis there in Ukraine who are pushing an agenda that seeks to undermine democracy. Why is NATO expanding its military presence even when it's told to not do what you are doing? Because when they extend their military presence, they threaten the security of Russia. Today, here in Southern Africa, we've got an American military base in Botswana, which threatens our security. That American base in Botswana, if they were to fly a fighter jet from that base to Union building, it will take them two minutes to bomb the Union building. Why do you allow them to have a military base in Botswana? Because no one can prepare to defend himself in two minutes. Once mm. America declares a war and says we are attacking South Africa, they will do it in two minutes and finish the Union building. That's why that military base in Botswana, it must be closed because it's a security threat to the whole Southern Africa, the region that belongs to African continent. Up America goes around all over the world establishing military bases. We must refuse America's presence everywhere because they want to convert us into their puppets. Where were they, these noisemakers, when NATO and America went to kill Mahatma Gaddafi in Libya? No one spoke about human rights. No one spoke the nonsense they are speaking because Mahatma Gaddafi was not a white person to not side with hypocrisy. Always choose the revolution. Today, Libya is a former self. They have destroyed it. Libya was one of the successful African states. It was destroyed by NATO and America. So today we are told we must be with America and NATO. We will never do that. Where is the peace of the Middle East? Why are they not talking about it? Fighters, let us all be clear that we will never ever take the side of the imperialist forces. Imperialism is the highest form of capitalism and capitalism is racist by nature and it undermines black people for white people. Yeah, come on, bro. You can stop it there, bro. Ah, ah. You know, so, you know, the, 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 the point was definitely made that the vibration, all right, of, of the truth is, is really out there. And, and, and the minds of the people slowly but surely starting to turn away. You know, they're starting to spit that chip out. All right. Mm -hmm. Brainwashing. All right. It's no longer that Esau no longer has that effect that he once had over the nations, man. And they're going to be licking their chops in hopes of getting revenge. Because that, that holy, that demonic hedge, all right, that Cain has had over him is about to be lifted up. And like we always say, he's getting ready to get that bullseye on his back. And everywhere the so-called white man goes around the earth, he's not going to be safe. Whether it's down the southern border, you know, uh, Ishikarite on his ass, calling him get the gringo. Whether it's in the Middle East, the great Shaitan, all right, whether he's messing with, the, he's starting wars in China with the Asians or if it's the Japanese that haven't forgot about little boy and fat boy, um, the Israelites, the tribes, Haiti, uh, Puerto Rico, which is being heavily gentrified, uh, all kind of atrocities that was committed down there, Jamaica, and everywhere this devil turn on his earth, man, he's going to have people, even if his own people, all right? Even his own people, the Russians, they're essentially Edomites, but everywhere this devil turn, he's going to have a problem, man. People are going to be seeking to get revenge. I got one real quick. Um, Second Ezra 6, verse 27. For evil shall be put out, and his seed shall be quenched. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall overcome. And the truth, which shall be solemn without fruit, shall be declared. 
as a perfect scripture to close it out on. All right, with that, we want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Raka Kadash, that will honor us to the elders and the apostles of the DMS. Peace, love, and salutations to the Ba'afta Wada. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.